So today should be a fun day going car shopping and anyone that knows me obviously knows I'm a big, big car man. And one car brand in particular, I love more than any other and it's been a very, very deep and uh, lifelong goal to own this particular car. So yeah, going car shopping, gonna see what's what, get a little test drive in, first time behind the wheel of a... So we just pulled into Nottingham. I'm gonna meet my very good friend, Declan James. coming to pick us up, very kind of him to do so. Yeah, top guy deck, Nora, good friends for a good few years now. Big car man as well. And uh, yeah, we're gonna head over to the Ferrari dealership at Great Pool. Should be a very exciting day in, on the whole. But uh, yeah, to be honest, I'm slightly nervous, can't lie. <laughs> So if you have a three year plan, that's gonna be 24 grand if you have four year plans, so on and so forth. Um, but essentially, so you add, when you add that amount of interest, we divide it by the amount of months that it is. So say it was 36 months, you divide, um, you know, 24 grand by 36 months. It works out to about say 600 quid. In so that, interest? In interest. But that's only if you keep the car for that period, right? Indeed, yeah. Well, no, actually that applies every month for as long as you keep the car. Yeah. Was it Mike? it made my i8 sound like an uber like no joke it literally sounded like a dyson and even with the roof up or down the noise was insane so i've got quite a good like objective analysis about stuff and i can pick up on like i can kind of assume okay it's going to probably be a bit like this it was way it way surpassed my expectations and i thought it would be a bit faster than the the i8 but it was way faster even on the startup you heard it it sounded like a growling tiger i was like oh is this what it sounds like i was like okay i wasn't expecting that you, know, you hear it on the youtube videos or whatnot and uh is a whole different ball game. The sense of speed is not even comparable, be it in video or compared to any other car I've driven, to be honest. But yeah, what an experience, what an experience, man. Um, I'm sure I have more thoughts once I've settled and you know, reflected on it all. The one feeling I have coming away from it is the need and the want to work hard up here. So I know it might sound cliche or whatever, but it kind of made me think of some of the things I maybe was sloppy on or didn't do well before, or just neglected for, oh, yeah, I can't bother to do that makes you want to be like just spot on with everything you know, super professional get everything done because at the end of the day that's what it's going to bring these sort of rewards these sort of that sort of life you know it's just crazy man and like i said just ha having had you know the luxury of humble beginnings coming from where i've got to be in that position now to be able to strike and do that it's just like wow it's like you look around that car even even the car itself is like everything's like put together meticulously like some guy or some people built that engine do you know what i mean they put that package together all the systems and things that are required to do it and uh yeah it's just like it just ha it, it makes you want to be meticulous in everything that you do. Uh, next thing on the agenda is a road trip when you get it then, yeah. Mate, road trip for sure, road trip for sure. Monaco, I think. Yeah, I think Monaco, yeah. On the way there, probably stopping in Paris to see my mum. Obviously seeing the family and stuff, that would be really, really humbling, I think. And uh, quite heartfelt, to be fair. It would be a hard one to hold back the emotions from. But yeah, let's see what happens. Obviously it's a bit out of my control. I can only control what I can control. 
and obviously I know the yeah the goals in the pot but again it's for them to recognize that and to yeah sign things off so yeah let's see what happens um but yeah what an experience Nah, no, super good experience, man. I'm really looking forward to, you know, hopefully pushing on and getting over the line. And to hopefully, you know, in the next, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's hopefully own it. That'd be so good, man. The first, paperwork. 